Yes, that has been the wonderful Cat Searching for the Truth again and Chubbs. Now, we are going to be discussing a lot to, in today's radio station of the Ring Nation station. And to start off with, let's just talk about a bit about the uh, what happened yesterday in terms of the Premier League postponements and the Premier League in general. Because it's going to be interesting to find out what we uh, what is going to be happening in the future. So, yeah. And it's going to be interesting to find out whether or not the season will advance. Um, in latest news, the Premier League have been... Talking basically about giving cash injections to the Championship League One League Two and the National League. Now, the National League is interesting because it is per se not as gifted with money as a lot of League One and Two and Championship sides. So, it is a well-needed boost for them. And I personally think it's a, it can only be a good thing for for the uh, for a lot of things. Now, in other news, of course, uh, the UEFA have lifted Saturday three o'clock kickoff football matches, so they let people let fans of football who can't go to games at three o'clock. They will be shown the three o'clock kickoff times on telly. So Sky Sports, I'm guessing, or BT or Amazon, recently will uh, show off the games on three o'clock. In a statement, here is what the UEFA said, and I quote: "UEFA have lifted the blocked hours protection granted to England and Scotland." For the remainder of the 2019-20 season, following requests from the relevant national association as a result of measures taken in relation to the COVID-19 pandemic, so it's only for this season. Um, I'm not sure what that means for next season. Presumably, it, 
goes back uh it goes back to it goes back to normal next season so here is an article so yeah um there's a few options what the premier league and the fl could do but the options are limited in terms of what could happen. So that has been the latest. It's been odd without football, but lives are the front. Lives are more important than anything else. And yeah, uh, and another another uh, talking point is going to be the lockdown happening at the moment for everyone around the world. Um, in certain places, they relaxed the lockdown. Uh, other places like Germany, Spain, France, and it and Italy, yeah, they all are locked down. So yeah, uh, but an article here. Are say, is saying that fears for the lockdown over the weekend of sunshine. Now, the lockdown in the UK is not as bad as others around the world. It's relaxed um, and it's going to be interesting to find out what, what how the future of the lockdown will go. Uh, personally, I would do what other countries are doing and just do it full on lockdown, um, where you have to have a note or letter going out to the to get shopping or whatever, and give it to the police, um, because the amount of cases and all that are growing, and we're just getting around the corner from the peak of the pandemic so yeah unfortunately uh it is fantastic weather coming and it's just unprecedented really so yeah it's unfortunate but it is for the safety of the wider public it is vital so yeah and uh, it's going to be interesting to find out what the future of that will hold. But in terms of other news, we have got the uh, we have got the news that the science news, which said which they say that ten years to save the world's most threatened sea turtles. So the sea turtles could be extinct in 10 years. But with uh, all this talk of climate change dying down a bit, thanks to the virus, it's uh, going to be interesting to find out what, what, how people will react to the climate change now that everything is as they are. But who knows? I mean... Maybe climate change will be sorted out by the end of this virus because the pollution is going to be it's going to be uh not as bad as it used to be um in the tech news there is unrest from amazon's amazon's uh customers and it says that amazon is unsafe now amazon is a big big brand and everyone uses it so unless you lock down the uh you stop amazon altogether then no uh, no goods or no you won't get anything. You won't last long, by the way, if 
Amazon just shuts down tomorrow. So yeah, there you go. Uh, the entertainment is the uh, the few sad passaways. Um, the uh, Lean on Me singer Bill Withers unfortunately has died. Uh, the 1970s soul singer died of heart complications. That's what his family have said. The next sad death is the Eddie Large. Um, he was obviously famous for a while. So hopefully uh, I send my condolences to them. So in other news, uh, in other news, we are going to be chatting sport, and with that, let's get into sport. Yep, sport is a uh, is a big talking point at the moment. A lot of clubs are doing what anyone would, and they show the old games, which is fantastic. Um, currently on the BBC, they have got my team Wales taking on Germany, which is fantastical. Uh, it is obviously it is a fantastic thing to watch on the BBC at the moment, and that is that. I mean, that is incredible how uh, how famous sports like TV companies and clubs and all these big figures in the sporting world are showing off that best bit or the old footage again I mean that is incredible and I I just love it and in the future if anything like this happens again God help us if it don't um, then I would like to see more and more of this happening where they show off the old games because let's be fair the, the uh, there's nothing like classics it's the same with the sport Formula One. It's like it's big, um, and yeah, all the old stuff is like always good to listen to. So I guess that's that. Um, next thing we're going to be chatting about will be obviously. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Uh, uh, yeah, the next thing we're going to be chatting about is going to be um, TV and film, I guess. Yeah, so we are back here for checking out the uh, checking out the latest in the world of TV and film. Now, in the TV and film industry, there's not much happening because of the virus, of course. But um, it is going to be interesting to see whether or not the future of film would change at all. Because obviously it is going to be interesting 
nonetheless. So let's check on the latest news within the film and TV industry. And what is on Netflix? Now, while the uh, while we're getting through lockdown, uh, I'll be watching films on Netflix. The latest film I watched is indeed the film Goon. I love Goon. Uh, with Sean William Scott in. Uh, I highly recommend you guys listen to Goon. Or watch Goon. Um, it is fantastic film. Goon 1 and 2 is on there. So obviously fingers crossed they make a, another Goon film. But doubtful. Um, so I've been watching that which is awesome. Also I'll be watching the Dumb and Dumber film which is epic, both of them is on Netflix of course, and that is going to be, that's awesome, uh, I, I, I'm a big fan of comedy, and yeah, so comedy is my thing, as you, uh, <laughs> as you can listen to, obviously, it is one of the things I like to uh, chat about, yeah, yeah, yeah I, know, I know, I know, you laugh at me now, but yeah, comedy is the one. Um, now, in this segment, I like to chat about the uh, the soap stuff. So, the latest in Soapland. Uh, I'm a big fan of EastEnders. So, just a tiny bit of EastEnders news this week, which is not much because how else are you going to fill in the gap of two episodes per week um so we are gonna be uh chatting i mean there's not too much to talk about with soaps apart from the obvious like who's gonna be the new owners of the queen vic the queen victoria is uh is pretty much the staple of eastenders and a lot of a lot of people have been owner of that including Phil the great legend of Peggy Mitchell uh, even people like Shirley and Sharon and all these famous faces and Dirty Den and all that which is pretty epic um, so I wonder who the new one is because Phil obviously we know most likely will end in prison um, so God knows. But whoever it is, it's going to be incredible to find out. Uh, I mean, out of the box. Like, throw a name out in the air. I'm going to say someone like... No, it won't happen. But um, Callum Highway and Stuart were rainy. Now, that would be incredible. I know that would never happen, of course. But... Obviously, it's going to be interesting to find out who. Uh, I mean, there's no obvious people who can take over from Mick and Linda. I don't, th- I don't know, but yeah, I guess that's that really. Uh, and the uh, next segment in today's radio station is going to be the weather.
Yes, indeed, the weather is indeed enticing uh, at the moment. Like I said earlier, it is going to be fantastic outside in the coming weeks to, well, not months, but, well, it could be months, you never know, because we are headed into that break into the summer. We're not there yet, of course, but the temperatures are heating up. And in the UK, people will be expecting to have glorious sunshine. Uh, where I am in South Wales, it is going to be fantastic. Uh, 13 degrees today and 15 tomorrow. The highest of the temperature will be, of course, on Thursday when it goes soaring upwards to 18 degrees. Uh, other places such as as let's see london is gonna be obviously bigger uh tomorrow in london it's gonna be 21 degrees that is hot especially at the time of year we are today i mean a few years ago we had that beast from the east and it's been incredible that we haven't had any snow uh well, maybe Scotland had snow, but further southwards where I live, it is it is like just rain. There's no snow. Um, in the coming days of London, though, on Thursday, that's where the highest of the heat is going to be. It is going to be 22 degrees in London. Uh, it's going to be fantastic in terms of the weather. Obviously, in the week ahead we're gonna have glorious sunshine blue skies a bit of cloud here and there but majority will have the blue skies ahead and it's gonna be fantastic it's gonna be the uh the lockdown we wish we never had really because people could do barbecues and all that jazz because of how hot it's gonna be um it's gonna be interesting to see whether people will obviously uh, go out and enjoy the weather per se um, in other weather news uh, in specifically Spain in Alicante it is currently 18 degrees and it goes upwards to 20s and 21s throughout the week which is fantastic for this time of year for Spain when across the pond in New York it's up and down um, it's cloudy the highest up for New York is going to be Monday and Tuesday going to be fantastic weather ahead for New York but ma majority of the time it's going to be cloudy and a bit of rain obviously and uh, so yeah back in the UK of course we are going to be looking more so of great sunshine in the coming days that has been the weather
We are back here now and discussing everything in terms of video gaming. Now, latest news have hit that the season three for the Modern Warfare game has been teased by the creators of Modern Warfare, and uh, yeah, it's going to be releasing very soon. Uh, it will begin on Wednesday, April 8th, next week, and that is going to be fantastic to know. Um, it's going to be a lot of teasers on the way to it inside the Modern Warfare universe. So it's going to be interesting to find out what it entails. We know it's going to have the, uh, the back lot from Call of Duty 4 in the game. And it's going to be fantastic to see that map return. So, yeah, I'm currently on, not on that, well, I'm close to the end of the Battle Pass in Season 2. Uh, it's going to be interesting because, obviously, there's bits and bobs coming out of the news about Season 3, mainly because the... Uh, Mainly because it's going to be um, interesting to find what they bring out. Obviously, they got loads of content, like they got new maps, obviously, backlot as well, but they got like new stuff to bring to the table in terms of the shop, the battle pass, the war zone, and other stuff that we haven't even looked at yet. And furthermore, the feature I really looking forward to is indeed that uh, blueprint attachments mix mash, um, or as I say it, the Frankenstein attachments, which is fantastic to now hear a lot from. And it's going to be interesting to see what they look like. Obviously, you can't switch attachment, like M16 attachment, to an AK attachment. It has to be the same attachment. But if you have different color variants of the same weapon, you can mix and match the different color attachments, which is fantastic. Um, maybe in the future, they can mix and match with the weapons. But... For now, it is fantastic. Um, it's going to be incredible to uh, mix and match. Obviously, as a hardcore Call of Duty fan, I loved the greatness of the cogged, the uh, Black Ops. That was awesome because they, said they had the Crate Camo uh, feature in the online and hopefully they can do something similar with this so they uh they have village as well a game a uh, map which is modern warfare 3 i believe and it's going to be interesting to play on that because it's been a while since the uh, old modern warfare games and i cannot wait to uh well, I'm just <laughs> just checking out the images here, and it shows that backlot could be is going to be. You can play like nighttime on black up, but uh, backlot, not black up. Um, so yeah, hopefully, I cannot wait to see what happens. But yeah, going to be interesting to see what happens with season three of Modern Warfare. Um, by the way, guys, if you are listening now, make sure you show your love and support. Subscribe, like, comment and share on my YouTube channel, on my Facebook channel, on my Twitch channel, on my Twitter page and on everything else, including TikTok. Now, a lot of TikTokers have been doing a lot of it, like making videos on it. So, 
I hope you're enjoying my videos anyway. <laughs> um, but that has been a bit of the world of gaming. Uh, in other parts of gaming. Um, I'm just going to just branch off here a little bit. Um, I'm going to just make sure I have not missed any news regarding the PS5. Uh, obviously there's been a new game for the PS5 and PS4. And announced the other day, which was fantastic to know. Um, what was it again? It was the uh, it's like a horror game, a space horror, which is fantastic. I love horror games and space, of course, as you know, as you know from yesterday's uh, yesterday's thing. But yeah. The GTA 6 game uh, is being hinted at for 2021. That's going to be incredible. Um, and there's one report here uh, that PlayStation 5 is in serious trouble. Now, I doubt that. It's just headlines getting into... Uh, Oh, excuse me, get it into uh, people's heads. But that's been the news and uh, in video gaming. And next up, we're going to be chatting in terms of everything. Um, everything regarding to what's ahead on my YouTube channel, which if you have yet to subscribe to, here's your chance. And yes, yeah, so enjoy the... Uh, this song and I will catch you on the other side of it.
Yes, so we are back here for the last bit of today's show. Uh, there will be another show, another like show on the radio, of course, later tonight. So make sure you check that out for later tonight. Um, we're going to be discussing more in-depth stuff like the continuation of my history on video games and a lot more juicy content. So in this segment, we are going to be discussing... My upcoming YouTube videos. So, as you know, or if you have yet to subscribe, what are you doing? <laughs> um, this will come out as a video on YouTube later, by the way. Just for everyone who missed out. Uh, this is going to be a fantastic opportunity for anyone to uh, see what's coming up on the YouTube channel. little taster. Um... Obviously, there will be Formula 1 on Monday. There will be more Call of Duty on the Tuesday and Wednesday. There will be some FIFA on Thursday. Friday is obviously my great The Ring Karaoke. Uh, if you want to have a laugh, make sure you check that out. Um, and on the weekend, it's going to be a lot more of juicy content such as maybe the next installment of the cooking show now that is going to be interesting to find what else I can cook I mean I received my other my first ever cooking show DIY roast potatoes so yes um, and don't forget to look out for predator hunting grounds it is a fantastic game uh, for the channel and I cannot wait to play it because I did not get enough time on it to be honest um, but I hope you guys like it um, show your love and support as always for the channel uh, it is on a big upturn for subscriptions so and content wise so if you uh, if you want to get the latest in terms of what I have in store on the channel, make sure you subscribe, hit the little bell icon to get notified whenever there's a new video coming up. And yeah, so the uh, next talking point for the channel at least uh, is concerning my great show called The Rain Show. So uh, let's get into the next segment shall we Yes, yeah, so uh, the Ring Show is still scheduled for this year. Um, what we have to discuss about it is, I mean, we have our first episode already there, already there and recorded and all there ready for revealing. But in terms of the other episodes, um, they probably have to wait for a while uh, because the scheduling for the ring show is not till later this year. So hopefully you guys will enjoy that. Um, but you never know. There's a further announcement on the ring show in the summertime. Specifically on my birthday, the 1st of August. And I will let you all know a little secret. That the ring show is going to be every Sunday. Uh, I hope you enjoy that. <laughs> um, but 
that's all for now for the ring show. Uh, furthermore, detail will happen in terms of what will happen in the coming days. And yes, so I hope you enjoy that. And that has been that for today. Thank you all for watching. Of course, uh, today has been a fantastic time. Um, it's been a fantastic chat with all you guys in the Re Nation station. And yeah, I have been Sam Reen. This has been the Re Nation station. Make sure you show your love, support, as always, on my social media YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, TikTok. And I will always be coming back for you for the next show which is on tonight so make sure you check that out later and yeah without further ado you i've been sam reen this is the renation station and let's kick it off